this place of Beechlands was awesome. It was one of those places where you'd, you know, you'd go to school on bare feet, you'd kind of go home again, you'd go straight to the beach in summer. Sometimes you get home at 7 o'clock at night and your mum will know exactly where you've been. She's like, oh yeah, she's at the beach, don't worry about it, come home and have some dinner. And you do it nearly every day. It was the most fun I can imagine having as a child and I wouldn't want it any other way. My first time playing football, so soccer, I, I loved it. I just loved running around on the field with all my friends. And um, I only started playing netball because my sister played and I wanted to be as cool as her. When I first started playing out, I, um, I started at goal attack, I think. And then I kind of moved around. I always wanted to play centre, but they wouldn't have a bar of it because I was so tall. And then I just ended up in the defensive end and I've stayed there. Earliest netball memory was when I was playing Potokawa Coast. We used to have to go over to Maraitai School to train and we'd have to run around the courts three times and I thought that was absolutely crazy. I was so tired. Just three times around the netball court. <laughs> My sister Natalie is uh, 16 months older than me and I used to look up to her. She used to hate it because I'd copy her with everything, uh, including netball. But then uh, as we got older, I got quite a lot taller, she got that little bit shorter and uh, she gave up because I became a little bit better. <laughs> I think I was the better player uh, starting out. It became very competitive. I really didn't want my younger sister beating me in our games. She was always real competitive but real fun uh, and quite feisty which I think she still is today. I just really think her determination and she's focused and she's passionate. Um, she knew that netball was always her end goal and she really did everything she could to get there. I was always a competitive child, no doubt about it. I always wanted to win all the games or even card games and ball rush and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I was just fully competitive and, and wanted to win. Paula Bailey's probably been my most influential coach when I was kind of young to when I left Auckland. Her mum, Lynn, and her, they carried me through right up until I pretty much made the Canary Flames back in maybe 2005. Katrina was this tall, white, um, rangy arms and legs girl who sort of stood out a little bit from that group. I actually don't think she realised at a young age how good she was going to be. She's just a balanced kid, you know. Nothing, nothing feared her either. She'd give anything a go. And even if she failed at it, she'd be back and do it twice. I mean, I think if she took out any sport, she'd have done well at it. Because there's just that uh, inner burning that uh, what she's going to do, she's either going to give 110 per two or not bother. It's, for me, it was a dream from when I was a kid, and I believe if you've got that aspiration, that desire to do it from when you're younger, and you just keep going and you're going, and just pretty much give it everything you got, and um, don't let anybody knock you down. There's always going to be people saying you're not good enough and things like that, but if you put in the hard yards, run around the block a few times most weeks, then yeah, you can get there.